Humanity is the most civilized and morally motivated species we know of. No matter how far we progress and evolve as a species, some people occasionally shame the entire human race. One such tragic event that brought shame to humanity was the Holocaust. Hi! Today, we'll talk about the horrors of Nazi concentration camps. This isn't going to be a lighthearted video, so proceed with caution. Long before the Jewish people arrived at the camps, the punishments would begin. They tried to undermine Jewish people's dignity and integrity by dragging them out of their homes and rounding them up on the streets. They were then crammed onto trains and treated worse than trash. The train system was efficient in its demonstration of how nasty individuals can be to one another. More than 200 passengers were jammed into railway cars designed to comfortably carry up to 50 passengers. These travelers were stripped of their possessions and were improperly dressed for the winter. They were denied food and drinks. They were not prepared for hard weather or dreadful diseases that may spread quickly in conditions far worse than stables. It took 15 to 20 days to get to the camps, a long and difficult journey. When a train arrived at the camp after an 18-day journey, the Nazis opened the doors to find that everyone on board had already died. That wasn't all though. Nazis weren't pleased with such heinousness, so they made this process even even more disturbing. Soon after, they began charging detainees for the privilege of traveling the train to an extermination camp, and they had to pay the charge for a normal fare ticket. Children were subjected to the same level of cruelty and violence as Jewish adults. Children and adult inmates were housed together in these camps, and adults made every effort to keep them safe. On December 1, 1942, the concentration camp at the Litzman was created. It was also the only camp that housed Polish youngsters. Because of this one-of-a-kind circumstance, the SS guards were completely unhinged. Punishment, exploitation, and dehumanization were inflicted on the teenagers. Children ranging from age from 2 to 16 were repeatedly beaten, malnourished, humiliated, and disciplined for no apparent reason. These teenagers were forced to work long hours with no regard for their safety in arduous conditions, testing their stamina to the maximum limit and then some. If they became exhausted or ill, without remorse, their bodies were thrown into the pits. As a result of lack of higher level directed monitoring, there are no records of how many children were sent to this camp or how many Many of them survived. In the midst of a Jewish ghetto, the secluded children's camp had wooden barracks that provided no protection from the cold throughout the winter. Children who could not stop themselves from wetting their beds would be punished by being denied sleep or forced to lay on boards outside. These kids also had to work under the fear of being punished if they didn't fulfill their daily quota. The boys labored on straw wicker baskets, gas mask belts, and leather backpack pieces. The girls helped cleaning the washrooms, Taylor's factory, and gardening. These kids would have a slice of canned bread and a half liter of black coffee for breakfast. Dinner was potato soup with beet leaves or cabbage, sometimes sweetened with saccharin. They were occasionally given a tablespoon of marmalade, but even a minor error resulted in food denial. Many of the detainees became chronically hungry because of this, forcing them to hunt birds for food and place dead flies as garnish on hot water soup provided so they could eat it. Auguste, an SS guard who was famed for being perpetually intoxicated on duty, became creative when designing new methods of punishment. He was prone to terrifying other guards by kicking his victims in sensitive spots, burying them in boxes of sand, dunking their heads in a water barrel, and hanging them upside down on a chain before slowly lowering them into a tank of used vehicle oil. This behavior was more animalistic than human. In Nazi concentration camps, Jewish women were also deprived of their dignity in every way conceivable. They were greeted by shaving their heads, forced undressing, and genital examinations. What's worse is that all these heinous acts were done by male guards. For any wrongdoings or disobedience, women were subjected to harassment and assault. There have been also reports of women being injured and then let to suffer without medical attention, simply for refusing to strip as ordered. Guards would also abduct young women from their barracks in the middle of the night, only for them to return the next morning with their garments ripped apart and half dead. For a night or two, these girls were sold to higher commanders in the Nazi party's SS, leaders and wealthy patrons of the cause and war effort. Because they had no other choice, some Jewish women began to use this suffering as a bargaining chip to help and save others. The horrific gas chambers are the most well-known aspect of concentration camps, yet that was just a part of what happened there. Death by a gas chamber was the quickest and probably the least painful method of death. There were seven tiers of hell to live in, with many Jewish inmates being left alone in dark, wet rooms with no food, water, or clothing. The SS would utilize these chambers to torment inmates 
Alliance. The Dark Cells, as they were officially known, had no light and were locked tight with captives inside who would have very little air. With each breath the convict took, the amount of oxygen available decreased, leaving them no choice but to succumb to a slow and painful death. We also discuss how food scarcity was designed to torture inmates simply so the guards could torture them. An average prisoner's daily meal allowance were meager. They were forced to eat sawdust bread and horse sausages. Because of a shortage of food, some convicts stole food to satisfy their hunger, and others even ate bad food from the garbage. Convicts' tea was also prepared of wild weed, and the water delivered to them was occasionally seawater, just so guards could witness how badly it affected them. This resulted in acute dehydration, and even when detainees begged for water, they were refused. These unfortunate people had no choice but to lick newly swept floors in order to satiate their thirst with whatever they could find. Would you like to watch a detailed video on these horrifying experiments conducted by evil Nazi scientists? Tell us in the comments below. With this, we're going to wrap up this video. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more history content. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video. Till then, adios.